chance can they put up here as underdogs against France? France reverting to the team which beat Peru in their second game. Hugo Lloris, one of six players, rested against Denmark. That really is extraordinary, but neither has Cristiano Ronaldo. France to get us underway in their blue shirts here in a confrontation of potentially epic proportions. Here's Messi. McTweedy. The referee's going to have to take steps here. Running at the heart of that Argentina defence, and there will be a free kick here in a dangerous position, some 25 yards out. Mbappe really has got a turn of pace. He's showing here, look at this, from Mbappe's how back there. Hang on a minute, it's a penalty! It's a penalty for France. The Iranian referee was in no doubt. And there's a yellow card as well. It is only yellow. Argentina can play. But they could not cope there with the searing pace of Kylian Mbappe. Blood France 1 0. Griezmann strikes again, and it's the early breakthrough they were looking for in the 13th minute. Well, there's the original of this match, but hang on a minute. Here's Mbappe, he's got him behind again. Here now, as he found. Yellow card for the defender. That was another. Can you take something special to get that up and down from there? It's Pogba. Into the channel. And it's good goalkeeping. One played by Hugo Lloris. Jordana Perez. the face of goal, they're claiming a handball here, it was Mercado's run, he thinks the ball's handled, let's see if he's right, the ball, Pogba, Mucherano's extremely muscular challenge on him, I just wonder whether this thing might win, as he often does, Otamendi was caught a bit late there by Giroud for me, should be Argentina's free kick. Both players down injured. Pico. Eva Benega. Di Maria. Oh, what a goal! What a strike! Argentina level! It's Angel Di Maria with the sweetest of strikes. could go all the way it's certainly gone to the halfway it's been intriguing it's been enthralling Kylian Mbappe superb in the opening phase of the game they couldn't cope with him Griezmann scored from the penalty spot and how Argentina in their famous you must feel a bit like that sometimes maybe a free kick as Di Maria was looking to weave his mouth. comes out to Messi on that famous left foot deflected and in! And Argentina lead! Well, this is just amazing stuff. Messi scores in the knockout rounds of the World Cup for the first time. If they're going to credit him with the goal, it did take a... Away goes 
Mbappe. And they're more handed in stopping when he goes down. There's a, another card going to be administered for Di Maria. Far by Griezmann, surely. Yeah. Griezmann. Well, there's a mistake here. Griezmann can get in. He couldn't quite direct it goalwards, though, at the end of it. Argentina there, very nearly hit the softest struck button. What were they? And Argentina with the oldest squad of those who've stayed in so far. Pavar! Oh, how about that? Glorious! Benjamin Pavar puts France level in what is turning out to be Pretty astonishing game. He couldn't even have dreamt that. On the turn there was McTweedy and Mbappe! Oh yes, France in this seesaw game. Boys got two of them. A desolate Lionel Messi. Just a roller coaster ride. Matuidi, good ball. Giroud hopped on here. really are in control beautifully set up by France what a got it found a good ball as well Giroud starting to look like open season Great run from the right back. Free kick. Messi. Running at that defence. Still Messi. Well, you'd have backed him there. But in the end, it was a miss. Florian Tovan. Replace Mbappe. There will be no hat trick for him today. Messi again. Sergio Aguero, 4-3. Maybe this isn't done just yet. Here's Pogba. Well, lots of men, he might be in trouble for that. Yeah, he hammered the ball into the opponent on the floor. That's been seen as deliberate. Nearly, but the whistle has gone, and France are into the quarterfinals. What a match here. An epic game between two of the biggest names in world football. Seesaw emotion.